Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to get the best Subnautica multiplayer and single player setup in 2024. So the first thing you want to do is buy Subnautica on Steam. Um, and then you want to go to the link in the description and you want to download the multiplayer mod for Subnautica. Um, and make sure it's Nitrox. Now, you want to download the latest version. Um, and you want to put it into a folder. Now, you can put this anywhere on your desktop. Me personally, I have a folder on my D drive called Subnautica. And um, so, how do I put all my files there? Well, once you have it downloaded, you want to um, right click on this, you want to go to Manage, Browse Local Files, and you want to copy all of this, and you want to paste it into the new folder you made called Subnautica. Now, this is really important for you to get the latest update for the single player. So, and then you want to um, right click on it, on the icon, show more options, send to, and hit desktop, and you can create a shortcut. And um, this is what uh, I like to call the single player version. So the reason we do this is because Subnautica had a new update, and it's, uh, I I what is it called, I have it here. Um, it's called uh, Living Large, it's a Living Large update, and it just has um, some, it's a long awaited 2.0 update, and it has a lot of new stuff, and it's just better than 1.0 in the older versions, but it breaks the multiplayer, so you need to have it archived on a file, because if you try to load up um, the mod, uh, it won't work and it will break. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, so now that we got our single player figured out, you know, we'll have our desktop here. If you click it, it'll work, it'll boot up, you'll still have your Steam overlay as it's baked into the game. So, how are we going to do this multiplayer mod? Where well, you want to download it for free and um, uh, you'll get a file and um you'll have to extract it and then you should see this so i just um did the same thing i went click on it hit show more options uh send to and i sent it to desktop and i called it the multiplayer version um so then how, how do we get the uh, multiplayer to work with um the newer version what we want to do we want to our uh, Right click on this, go to properties. Now you're gonna have to go to the old version. So go to builds. And originally it'll be set to none, but you gotta go to legacy. So public legacy builds. Um, and it, uh, you'll hit update and it'll update. Then you can boot up uh, Subnautica multiplayer or probably be Nitrox, uh, Nitrox launcher. And you wanna go to options and you wanna make sure right here that it has your, um, exactly where it's located. Um, and right here, if um, you want to make sure there's no VR mode, just put VR mode none, and you can take that off if you want VR mode. But um, that doesn't really matter for you. So that's it. Um, and here's proof that it works. If you want to play multiplayer, remember this is an older version of the game. That's why I don't just have a play and play single player, and it does not have the Steam. Um, uh, overlay too but look we have multiplayer and we can uh go to servers and stuff and uh we have all of our options have our graphics look at all that um but that's an older version of the game if you want the newest version you can click on some like a single player and you know um it's um, it does that. even though that it um, does is not in the current Steam folder. It has the overlay baked into it, so um, you'll still have your Steam achievements and projects and everything. And you still have your options. Everything works, and the options are compatible with both because it runs in the same files, uh, except for not these. But yeah, we're not because it just it's synced. So yeah, that's the 2024 guide. Um, so some nice guy to get multiplayer and single player working. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in another video.